Thanks Bloodline Heroes of Lethus for sponsoring this video. This is popcorn oil. Lucky enough, we can find it easily in any supermarket in the United States. Now this thing has a rich buttery taste. If you ever been to a movie theater and you had some popcorn and it was delicious, it was because of this. There's something going on with this oil here that makes it extremely flavorful. It makes regular bland popcorn better. You can always use popcorn seasoning at home and those turn out okay. But for some reason, this oil makes it even better. And today I want to find out how this oil can make a steak even better. And of course, the first thing we're gonna need is steaks. As you can see, I chose three beautiful ones. They're all New York strip, one and a half inches thick, and just as good as steaks can look. Now, since I have three of them, this is how this experiment is gonna go down. I have no idea what the popcorn oil is going to do to it, so I wanna try out two different versions. The first thing to do is to put it in a container, then completely fill the whole thing with it. I'm talking about submerging the entire steak with this beautiful oil. As you can see, my steak even became golden. And for the very first method, I'm going to be using something called confit. And here's how it works. All I have to do is to put it in the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Because as that was cooking, it was perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make an incredible side dish. And I mean, just take a closer look. I'm not quite sure what to call this one. But hey, Leo gave a name in the end of the video. He called it barbecue cannoli. Now to make it, it is ridiculously easy and here's how. Everything starts off with this, the pasta. It's called manicotti. At least to me, it is impossible to find on my supermarket. So I got it online. I just followed the instructions in the packaging and cooked it up. Now for the important part, the filling. Into a food processor, I threw in some cheddar cheese. Processed on high and then it was ready. Following that, I added some ground beef, followed by some minced garlic, a little bit of parsley, then salt and freshly ground black pepper. Put the cover on and blend everything on high. We want this to mix as much as possible, really creating a nice smooth paste. As the final thing to add to our filling is cream cheese, a whole entire block. Mix it on high once again and that is our filling. The next step is to put everything into a bag. Then you want to cut out the tip, grab the noodle, and slowly fill everything up. Once that's done, grab some bacon and wrap the whole thing around. It does not get any easier than this, folks, as the next thing to do is to go ahead and bake it. You can definitely do this in the oven if you don't have a smoker, but come on now. We want to add additional flavor. So into the smoker you went at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I let it cook in there for about 40 minutes. Once the time was up, I took it out and look, it is now almost ready because the next step is to add some barbecue sauce. I'm using a sweet one that I made at home, but you can use any one you like. Just make sure you are very generous with it. Then you want to put it back in the smoker for about 15 minutes. Take it out once again and add some shredded mozzarella cheese right on the edges. Get some more of that wonderful barbecue sauce and add it on top because all there's left to do is to throw in some parsley for coloring as now today's side dish is done. Friends, I don't say this very often, but this was crowned by Leo as the best side dish of the year so far. Just wait for you to see when we taste it because by now my fully cooked confit steak was ready and this is what it looks looks like. The internal temperature was reached to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It is fully cooked, but as you can see, it just looks horrendous. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste very different. Now you gotta remember one thing. This steak has no seasoning at all. And the same thing goes with these two other steaks. And that's because I'm gonna be doing something I don't do very often, which is to season the steaks after they're cooked. Talking about that, since I have two others, here's how I'm gonna cook them. One, I'll be deep frying it in vegetable oil. Nothing special about that because it's gonna be our control. The middle steak is just gonna get a fast quick sear. Yes, on the popcorn oil. The final steak in the other hand, I'm going to completely deep fry the whole thing. The oil will be at 325 and once the temperature of 120 is reached, I'll take it out and slice it up to see which one is better. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time for us to deep fry some steaks in popcorn oil and find out how good it really is. So let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Bloodline Heroes of Lethus. It has some of the most unique mechanics I've ever seen in a game. Let me show you what I mean. To start, it is a free-to-play, hero-collecting fantasy RPG with beautiful graphics, thrilling combat, kingdom building, and PvE and PvP for all types of content players. But this is where it gets crazy. It has a super unique character creation system. Basically, you can combine various bloodlines, such as orcs, lichens, and demons, and create your very own legendary heir. So you can take an orc and a demon, and you'll be left with an orc and demon baby that can have the traits of both parents, meaning your character and inventory will be completely unlike any other player in the world. Find yourself the best companions and raise heirs. The higher your companion intimacy, the more powerful your offspring. You can marry different bloodlines and develop a family tree until you have your own custom champion with powerful abilities. This game is just plain old fun to play, and I know that you guys will love it. Hit my link on the description down below to get the Karga clan and the hybrid heir for free, and use the code below to get 20 intimacy packs, 100,000 gold, and a 100 free diamonds. Thanks Bloodline Heroes of Lethus for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful steak, incredible side dish. For the first time ever, I think I am more excited for a side dish than I am the steaks because that looks amazing. What does it look like? Can you even distinguish? It looks like cannoli. <laughs> cannoli, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be on the side dish in a second, all right? Because we got a wonderful experiment here. I'm really excited about. I got this experiment when I went to the movies, by the way. So, oh, yeah, keep thinking, all right? <laughs> movies. Yeah, okay, forget about it. Forget about what I just said. We're gonna go this direction. Dig in. Tender as hell, man. Perfectly medium wow. rare, everybody. You see this beautiful crust? You can't get this crust very often. Deep fried? Deep crust. Wow. Enough talking, give me your honest opinion on this one. You guys ready? Yep. All right, let's see. Very first steak. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. That's a good steak. It's just done right, everybody. This is a great steak, although I do miss that charcoal sear. That charcoal flavor. Exactly. These kids love the charcoal flavor, everybody. Or charcoal addicts. <laughs> Extremely juicy, perfect crust. I think this might be one of my favorite videos because Guga's done something he's never done before, which is put some salt on the board for me. <laughs> you guys have no idea, but I love salt. Guy. This man is addicted to salt, oh everybody. God. We have so many nicknames for him. The sodium savant, the salty savage. I don't I can't, there's too many. Can we all agree that this is a nice, wonderful steak, perfectly cooked, and uh, it's our control? I That's highly good. recommend That's that steak. Good. That's a good control. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go for the second one. Please dig in. Give me an honest opinion on this one. I'm curious to find out how it tastes. You guys ready? Yes, all right, second one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, wow. It's so different. Oh, man, I like that one so much more than the control steak. <coughs> You're right, Angel. Went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a lot better than the last one. It has a lot more flavors. Yes, a lot more flavor. I agree. The juices themselves that you get from the steak are creamier. It's a little bit more savory. It's a little bit rich. Whatever you did to it enhanced the flavors of the steak and just made it an overall better experience. I love this. See, I agree with Leo and all the things that he said right there, except for one thing. Which one he said it's a little bit rich nah it's a lot rich it's, it's rich as hell bro <laughs> what you guys are trying to say is that it is buttery it has yes, a yeah. buttery 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 feeling everybody so like butter, 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 butter. Butter. <laughs> but i'll tell you one thing this one tastes a lot better and you are both right i really enjoyed this steak right here it gives more flavor everybody it's more flavorful it's better it's more delicious speaking of very delicious and better and all this stuff i think this is a good time to uh -huh. cleanse <laughs> I see. You really want to go for it, Len. Let's go for it. You know, Leo has a jingle. Mm. And I think you should know about it. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat, sorry. <clears throat> when the food is glistening, our bellies are a-listening. <laughs> Very good. Well, this one is definitely glistening. Let's go for it. Let's go for the side dish. Let's do it. We're going to give you an honest opinion on this side dish, everybody. Cheers. 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 Oh, I wrap my case, baby. It's so good. It's savory. It's sweet. Everything you're saying yeah. is going in one ear and out the other because I'm just focusing on all the flavors that I'm getting hit with by this side dish. And it's absolutely phenomenal, Google. Like you knocked it out of the park with this is an absolute home run of a side dish. This might be the first video that I say this is my winner overall because really? that side dish is magic. <laughs> Better than the steak so far. Yeah. Number one, I need to shake your hand. Oh, wow. You enjoy it. And number two, bring it in, brother. That, I really like it. That one right here, you're gonna make that for my birthday. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is top three side dish all time. Wow. This is number one for me. No, number one. Wow, Leo, that's a big statement. Oh. This is so good that I'm sad that I only have one bite left. <laughs> that is absolutely delicious. Highly recommend doing the side dish. But now it's time for our final steak. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, let's go for it. Dig in. Very last steak, everybody. Let's see. Cheers. 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 
Mm. This is just like a different oil or butter or something else. The flavor isn't as in your face as the previous steak. In my opinion, takes away a little bit from the steak juices. It doesn't taste as beefy as the previous one. I agree, Leo. But still, it's an enjoyable steak. I already know who my winner is. Okay, I have a feeling that you're gonna go for the very second one. I'll, I'll uh, keep it a surprise for now. Yeah, the second one's the winner. <laughs> oh, and you? If the second one's the winner. Yes. Yeah. We all agree. Uh, the thing is that this third one is, is very good. Yeah, it's delicious. I, but the second one had a, uh, you know, like, it's like, uh, it's like, right? uh, it's like, uh, uh, you, you know, it's like, uh. by the way, it was deep fried in popcorn oil. This is what this experiment is all about. Have you ever been to the movies and you ate that popcorn? Isn't popcorn in the movies a lot better? Yes, a hundred percent. I think it's because you don't have to make it. No, it's because of the oil. Trust me, that thing has so many calories, everybody. They dunk the oil in there. <laughs> would you try it? I would love to know because it does taste better. It's quite unique. It gives a buttery flavor on the mouth, yep. especially yeah. after you swallow it. So it's nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.